Let's move on to other stories now. HVTN 702 or Humble, one of the three HIV vaccine efficacy studies in South Africa, has been halted. Now, this decision comes after an independent data and safety monitoring board found the regimen to be ineffective. The trial was due to run until 2022. Professor Linda Gale Becker, one of the Global HIV Vaccine Enterprise Protocol co-chairs, now joins me via Skype. Prof, a very good evening to you indeed. Thanks for your time. So this is quite a setback, isn't it? Because Ohambo was launched to test whether an experimental vaccine regimen could safely prevent HIV infection amongst adults. That's right. Um, we're very disappointed. We had high hopes for this vaccine, but this is science. You know, we we brought it to South Africa, believing, um, having had very good evidence that this may well be an effective vaccine. And unfortunately, that hasn't played out. We have a definitive answer. This vaccine candidate is not going to do the trick. We need to regroup and get on with finding an alternative. Mm, tell us a bit about this journey. I know that uh, the Uhambo study enrolled over 5,400 HIV negative participants, I think at about 14 sites across South Africa. What happens uh, to them? So the 5,400 wonderful South Africans who so heroically, um, you know, stepped forward to participate uh, will in the next, we've stopped vaccination. Um, we've let them know the result. In the next few weeks, we will unblind them and then we will continue to follow them if they agree. So again, they'll be re-consented with full informed consent uh, to be followed in an unblinded fashion. In other words, knowing their assignment, whether to play placebo or active arm and we'll follow them for another year or so just so that we really collect the maximum amount of data that we can about this trial. Obviously the big question is it seems that it worked at least modestly in Thailand and we need to understand why we haven't had similar success here in South Africa. Could you please explain unblind to me when you say unblind and then follow them uh, for a certain duration of time just to explain to the viewer? Yes, apologies, our jargon is horrible. Um, what this means, when we put somebody into a uh, an efficacy trial, um, people are randomly assigned to either go into the active arm or into placebo arm. We are not aware of what that assignment is and neither is the participant. So when I say we, I mean us researchers, the pharmacists, etc. This is in order, so we call that maintaining the blind. In other words, we don't know which category people are in. This is to remove confounding so that we treat all participants equally they treat themselves equally. Um, and so it really is just depends on whether the vaccine works or not. No other factors that may play a role. So the study has been conducted since 2009. Does this mean then that you continue with other HIV vaccine programs now? Yes, certainly. So this, uh, in fact, this trial we started enrolling in um, n not that long ago. It's taken us a while to uh, make the component vaccines and bring it to the field. We've done a phase one, which showed wonderful immune responses. Um, but importantly, there are, as you mentioned, three other vaccine trials in the field, which will continue. And it's important that they do. They each have very different approaches and we'll be getting very important information from them in the next months to years. So uh, does this mean enrolling other participants in those other programs, the ones that you will proceed with? Correct. Those are already actually, the AMP trial is already fully enrolled. Um, HVTN 705 is fully enrolled already. They're just in their follow-up. And another trial called PrepVac is just enrolling at the moment. But you're right, those will be completely new uh, participants participating. Prof, uh, any work that has been done to combat this is certainly, uh, you know, we could uh, really applaud you for the work that you have done. Thank you very much indeed, even though a negative result, but the work certainly does continue. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Professor Linda Gale Becker, who is, uh, of course, uh, with the Desmond Tutu HIV Foundation and the HVTN 702 protocol.